Hello everybody, Papa Bouchard here. I was hoping this day would never come that I'd have to put an air conditioner in the wall. <laughs> I was hoping I never had to do this, put an air conditioner in the wall, but it's come to the point where I'm going to have to. It uh, days and days of 100% humidity outside and uh, taking the moisture from this room and dumping it into my shop is not helping me out in my shop any and uh, so I've decided to try to isolate this room from the rest of the shop to keep the moisture down so let's see how this goes stay tuned for this episode <music> dehumidifier in here uh, but as you know dehumidifiers they heat up stuff the humidifier I have seems like it draws just as much as my air conditioner does I have a little air conditioner that I took out of the house we got some mini splits that were put in the house and we didn't need them up there no more and so we put them put them down here I had a real huge one that we gave to a friend who had their air go out and uh, but I kept the little ones uh, just for this purpose because I knew maybe I might have to have to do this and uh, you can see by this thing here, it's 81 in here right now with 80% humidity. And uh, the highest in here today have been 86 degrees and 85% humidity. And it's just, it's just sweltering in here. And I've cut back my lights. I'm trying to do everything to keep the heat down. But uh, so far I haven't been able to. And it's causing other problems. Like I said, out in my shop, it's causing a mold to form out my shop because it stays at like 80% humidity out there all the time. So I ordered a new dehumidifier to put out in the shop, and I'm going to put this air conditioner in the wall here. So let's see how this goes. Isn't that a pretty picture in the back there? <laughs> oh, I finally broke down and put air in my grow room. It, uh, I'm in a metal building where I have my shop and uh, the walls are like eight inches thick. And so I made it so the air conditioner was on this side of the wall like you usually do. And uh, it barely stuck out on the back side, you know, about two inches. And it ended up being a box, and that box got really hot, and it wasn't working very well. So uh, I decided to make it a little bigger, and I slid it back in to make it the width of a window. And now it sticks out enough in the back, and uh, it, uh, look at there. Isn't that nice? 72 degrees, 70% humidity. The humidity is a little high right now because... Uh, as luck would have it, I, I was filling up a bucket of water. I was filling up a bucket of water in here, and I got sidetracked doing something else, and I come back, and it was overflowing. I got my floor all soaking wet, and there was probably an inch and a half of water on the floor, so it's going to take a little bit to completely dry it all up, but 
it's almost all the way dry now a little bit around the edges but uh yeah what was happening is uh i was keeping my grow room halfway decent as far as uh as far as the humidity went I had an exhaust fan and i would blow it out into the shop well what it was doing is it's making this air better but it was ruining the air in the shop getting having the mold problems and just extreme high humidity i had 99 percent humidity in my shop <laughs> and that's not good as you know having that high of a humidity in your shop or in any building is just it just, just destroys everything i had mold growing on everything i had an apron mold growing i had pieces of wood that uh that table i built the other day or workbench i built the other day had mold all up and down the legs and i said man i gotta get a handle on this and uh so uh word to the wise if you're gonna have a grow room it's gonna be a pretty good size you're gonna have to handle the temperature and humidity and keep a close eye on it uh, right now it's 105 index outside so it's really high hum it's like 93 or 94 with a heat index of 105 so it's really warm out and uh so i have another uh dehumidifier on order and it'll be here on tuesday i'll put that out in the shop and i'll try to dry things up out there and get that nice and dry it's already made a difference it's still really high humidity but uh i can walk around in there either that or i'm getting used to the heat i don't know uh after you're in it for a while you kind of get used to it but i'm not sweating anywhere near like i was the other day i just walk across the shop and i was just break out in a sweat and so the humidity is going down i don't know how accurate this humidity gauge is because it says 99 percent and that's as high as it goes and uh it's still saying the same thing out in the shop so i'm thinking there's something wrong with it but uh, it does seem to work in here pretty decent i mean i don't have nothing to c compare it to but it is d dropping down but anyways that's what i did and i got it fixed and i'm so happy now i can work in here and not sweat <laughs> like the dickens like i always did i'm only working here for like 10 minutes that's all i can handle it because it's just so hot and uh even with these led lights you know when it's hot outside and the high humidity it just gets really uncomfortable and uh so yeah so i think it turned out all right looks pr pretty nice i used a bunch of old wood that i had around here cut that hole in that wall and i wasn't looking forward to it i didn't want to do it but uh, now as it is in the winter time if i don't need the air conditioner i can pull the air conditioner out put a screen in there or i can make a little uh, a little window little plexiglass window and uh then i can have my exhaust fan exhaust that the outside if i pull it in out there and I have a screen there it'll just push everything outside and uh, so that'll be another way I'll be able to control the humidity in the winter time and uh, but I'll probably end up putting a dehumidifier inside this room uh, because then the heat doesn't matter um, you can do it in the su summertime too but dehumidifiers they heat up the room and it was already 90 degrees in here and I didn't want it any hotter so I think I made the right choice <laughs> And uh, this air conditioner seemed like it pulled 500 watts. So that's what the dehumidifier pulled. So the price will be about the same and it'd be a lot more comfortable in here with an air. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna turn that thing back on so it doesn't heat up in here and uh, yeah. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. This is Papa Blue Shirt.